When it comes to building a new computer or purchasing a new PC, the ultimate question that keeps running in our minds is whether to go with Team Blue or Team Red. Intel and AMD have been fighting in the arena for a very long time, and both the companies have had their equal share of ups and downs. Now, in 2018, which one of these two have the upper hand of dominating the industry? To be honest, the ultimate aim of both the companies is to be better than the other. And this is more obvious with Intel. With the release of Coffee Lake and Skylake X, we could pretty much figure out that Intel wanted to give AMD a run for its money. But that ultimately failed. Whereas after their failure to attract more crowd with the FX series of CPUs, AMD definitely made a banging return with the Ryzen series of processors. In fact, Ryzen became one of the most recommended CPUs as it provided more value and performance for what the consumer was shelling money out for. And this was the period when the Team Blue counterparts suffered very badly, as their motive was only to increase the core count and not make it price efficient. So 2017 was the year of Ryzen and Threadripper, and the sole reason behind it was the value-oriented performance it provided for the user. For below $300, you could get a 8-core beast and this was a dream come true for many streamers and content producers, but all this was 2017. And the war between Ryzen 2nd generation and Cannon Lake is about to begin. AMD will have an amazing year in 2018 if they keep rolling out CPUs as good as the Ryzen 5 2600X and the Ryzen 7 2700X. The AMD Ryzen Threadripper Gen 2 CPUs are expected to arrive this fall. It's rumored that we will be receiving a 32-core 64-thread monster of a CPU for around $1,700. If the rumors are true, then Intel will be under peer pressure to provide a CPU that provides the same level of performance but for a much cheaper cost. We all know that Coffee Lake was a good upgrade over Sky Lake or KB Lake as Intel threw in extra cores for about the same price as the previous versions. But it still wasn't enough to compete against the aggressively priced first gen Ryzen chips. Ryzen was not only cheap but also provided amazing performance and all thanks to the new Zen architecture. Now it's all up to the upcoming Intel Canon Lake chips to do wonders and get the industry talking about them. But they have already moved the launch of the Canon Lake chips to 2019. Canon Lake is based on a new 10 nanometer architecture and from data collected by few sources, it's clear that part of the delay comes from the increasing breakdown in Moore's law. That is, as we approach smaller and smaller transistor sizes, it becomes increasingly harder for companies to keep up with the two-year doubling that Moore's law demands. And from this, we can definitely say that Coffee Lake is still going to be competing with Ryzen 2 and this is an advantage for AMD. Now, until Canon Lake releases or Intel aggressively cuts the price of their products, they have no chance to stand against the Ryzen Gen 2 chips. But both the teams have their own strengths. When it comes to gaming, then Intel is the obvious choice as Intel chips are all about more restricted thread settings. Games are much more multi-threaded today than they were in the past, but they rarely use more than 2 to 4 threads, which typically gives Intel the edge and the higher clock speeds on the Intel chips give it a slight advantage when it comes to gaming. But we aren't saying Ryzen is bad either. The difference is only in the frame rate at which the game runs. Statistically speaking, not all users have high refresh rate monitors. With 60Hz monitors being dominant, you won't be able to tell them apart. But all this small difference is only for the higher end CPUs. As we climb down to the budget models, that's where we can see the power of Intel being highlighted. Ultimately, Intel chips tend to be better for gaming of today. But when it comes to Ryzen processors, it's all about the multi-threaded performance. Yes, there are similarly spec Intel counterparts that provide a little extra juice to your work, but you have to shell out more than deserved. This is where AMD's Ryzen 2 and Threadripper CPUs come into play. They provide identical performance for much cheaper costs. This eventually makes it a better option for content creators and streamers. Now, rather than spending $4,000 or $5,000 on an Intel based machine, Creators or streamers could get the same amount of performance for much, much cheaper. Now, if you ask us which CPU is the best, there is actually no certain answer to that. 
each manufacturer have their own strengths and weaknesses and it all comes to our personal preference to select the right CPU. If you are a die hard gamer then you could go with Intel. If you are a content creator and want to get your money's worth then choose Threadripper. So when it comes to choosing your next update, looking at the individual performance of the chip you want to buy is still your best bet. But considering these general guidelines will give you a good foundation of where to start. Thanks to Ryzen's amazing leap over AMD chips in terms of power and value, the CPU market is now highly competitive after residing in a stagnant state for a number of years. Now in brief, if you want a very powerful performance out of your CPU then definitely go with Intel. But if you want a really powerful performance without spending a whole lot of money, in simple words if you want to get your money's worth then definitely go with AMD.